What's up, y'all? So I'm about to react to... I'm going to call her Brie, y'all. I can't call her cuz. I'm going to react to Brie. Um, she did a video on me, and I fell out with royalties where, I mean, aren't we used to this by now? But anyway, let's get into this video, child. Whatever. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. <clears throat> Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leave. So, <sighs> of course, for those that don't know, me and Brie recently got into it. She is who I call cuz. Um, I'm not in the mood to call her cuz. When I fall out with people, I do not call them by their names that I used to call them by. So, um... I'm not calling her cuz, but me and Brie fell out or whatever. And, um, you know, she feeling whatever she feeling, child. I'm going to just talk about whatever she's talking about and let's get into it. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Brie. Be better known as your favorite label. And unfortunately, I'm not checking in with a vibe. Girl. Um, I'm going to just go ahead and get into the video. As you can see from the title, I fell out with Royalties World. I'm not gonna get on here and bash her. I'm not gonna get on here. They all say that. I fell out with royalties where it's always the title, and then I'm not gonna bash her. But you made a video. But whatever. And talk crazy just because I feel like I can. Um, I'm simply on here because I wanna state my piece. I wanna express how I feel. I've never been the type of person to listen to what other people gotta say. I like to gain my own perception for myself um i'm the type of person i govern my actions i govern my words i, I feel like opinion. i feel like i feel like uh my fault i feel like people like to um you know meet people and and and, and go into the situation clear like they didn't hear all the shit that they heard but still in the back of your mind you gonna treat it like that you gonna treat it like you know, you, you're not going to forget. You know what I'm saying? Toot calling. You're not going to forget. You know what I'm saying? Whatever people said, she ain't forget. You won't ever be able to tell nobody that I'm a certain type of person that I know that I'm not. I'm, 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 I'm aligned with who I present myself to be and who I... um Hell, I am who the fuck I am. All right? Girl. So... We had a disagreement, and instead of her trying to understand where I'm coming from, like on grounds of respect or whatever, whatever you want to call it, she wasn't trying to hear me. And my thing is, it wasn't no disrespect. You know, I, I feel like people got to understand, you know, as a grown ass woman, you don't have to hear where they coming from. I'm not even going to lie. Like y'all emotionally, I am absolutely not available and I've always been emotionally available, but be, me being emotionally available is what put me in these fucking, these weird ass situations. You know what I'm saying? Where people feel like they can say whatever they want to say, you know, and, and as if I have to accept something, I don't have to accept shit. Nothing. I just can't get down with that. All right. I tried to have a conversation with her tried to um, come to some type of conclusion and the shit just not working and to be honest with you it kind of brought me back to seeing all the shit on social media like See? I said in the beginning See? I'm not the type of person to gain it was always in the back of your mind though it was always in the back of your mind. A perception of viewing of a person just by what I see on social media. I like to engage and get to know a person. And then that way, if something pop off, I already know, okay, yeah, this person is this way. Yeah, this person is that way. And it's not strictly off of what I seen or what I heard. And I really feel some type of way because, yeah, I'm new to this YouTube shit. Like, I'm YouTube, this whole influencer shit. Right, I know. Another introduction from royalty, right? That's my problem. Let us let me take some accountability. You know, all in these comments, Nate, don't ever take accountability. I actually, I'm the first one to do it. <laughs> I always take accountability, okay? 
you put niggas on and I keep doing it. Keep putting niggas on and they burn me. You know, everybody want to be cool with me until it's time to work. <laughs> everybody want to be cool with me. Think looking at this lifestyle is fun. Bitch, I work. Fuck. I put in work. Okay. And emotions and, and, and feelings and, 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 and I, shit outside of the bag is no longer my focus. It's unfortunate. When two called me in the morning, we talking about money. Two don't say, what's up, Nick? How, how did you sleep? Respectfully, she don't give a damn. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we keep telling you stop that shit. I know, man. I know. I know. You know, oh, girl, like, two don't hit me up in the morning and say, Nick, I hope you slept well. Not that she don't care if I didn't sleep well. We just got it. We on a mission. We are on a mission. I'm not on nothing less than that. Period. Man, screw everybody. These fools come looking for a daddy. Then when you daddy them, they got a problem. Come on now, uh, Blaze. They come looking for a daddy. Or they come looking for, uh, 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 you know, somebody that got them. And that's another thing. P. Diddy wasn't nice to them niggas on making the band. Y'all quit playing with me. P. Diddy was not nice to them niggas on making the band. You want to know why? If he was, they wouldn't respect him. He told them niggas to go walk to get a cheesecake for a reason. And if y'all don't know nothing about this, then y'all need to watch it. But P. Diddy ain't nice. You know, all these men uh, that with these empires, you can't be nice and... and, and and walking around talking about, I hope I ain't hurt your feelings. And I, 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 I hope I didn't offend you. And, and uh, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to spit your feelings, but fuck your feelings. Money ain't even in feelings. When you got money and feelings, you ain't making no money. I don't want to be in my feelings. I want to be on a flight. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I don't, we not, we not the same. But just because I'm new, that don't mean you gonna walk over me and disregard my feelings. And then they think or it's not walking trying to over understand me. where I'm coming from. Then you become the bully. And I I'm say that respectfully. <sighs> it's crazy to me how you look up to people or whatever. Uh huh. You get to know people, interact with them. Yep. All that good shit, and then. Boom, in an instant. In an instant, that work get hectic. <laughs> that work get hectic. You had them days where you rushing. I ain't got time to talk, nigga. I need to know if you ready to pull up and work. I need to know if you got what I need so I can handle my business. I ain't, <laughs> it's not a <laughs> every day. No, no, no. I'm focused actually because rent due. On the first. You dig? I got I got guidelines and I got deadlines I got to meet. I ain't got time to play with none of y'all. And that's what they don't ever get. See, I'm cool as a friend. As a friend and we ain't talking business. Everybody love me. Girl, you come to my house, I'm going to make sure you eat good. Filet Magnon, nigga. Barbecue ribs, baby. Barbecue chicken. Burritos, Doritos, taco, I don't give a damn. I'm feeding you. You ain't even got to be hungry. This ain't a situation of she needed me. That's just who I am. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> Cuzzo was new period. You a employee. Act accordingly until you reach boss status. Play your role and shut up my boy. That's all I'm saying. But like I say, niggas think that that shit is disrespectful. And if that's how you feel, cool. You can't work with me. That's why I buy out. Let me go since I'm the problem. Some shit can, you can change think. instantly. Shit can change instantly. And I said I wasn't going to get on here and have this long, drawn out speech uh, or whatever it is. But I feel like I owe myself this video.
flat out. Now you doing it for this video. You doing it for you. Okay. So, because why am I even here? At the end of the day, you got a right to feel how you feel. At the end of the day, you got the right to demand respect. At the end of the day, you got the right to want to be heard, and that's me. All right, that's me. And go talk to your woman. You want to be heard. Go talk to your woman. That's what I do. If I need to speak to somebody, if I need to be heard, I'm going to talk to my woman. I ain't got to talk to you. You don't need to hear me. Y'all, I'm not emotionally there right now. I'm telling you. And since she does not want to. Accountability. Understand that. She don't want to adhere to that. No. Then, I mean, it is what it is. We just going to have to cut ties. And if you follow me on social media or if you follow her on social media, you see we unfollowed each other. It is what it is. Um, Girl. But like I said, I came into this shit with a positive mindset. I came in this shit as humbly as I could because I know what my goal was. And I had every intentions on meeting that goal, especially. You ain't have them intentions if 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 we if we cutting each other off for a little fallout. That 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 wasn't no intention. This shit get rough, nigga. You have broke days, up days, down days, times when you sad, times when you mad, and we still got to work together. That's the problem. <laughs> Everybody can't deal with that. They think shit peaches and cream just because we on YouTube. I be trying to tell y'all. This shit is a real job. A job. Okay? When it came to surrounding myself with genuine people and building genuine partnerships, genuine friendships, whatever you want to call it, that's what I thought it was. But unfortunately, it's not going out that way. Um, I'm really trying to get my words together so I don't... I don't want to step outside of who I am. All right. When we first linked, it was like, cool, you know, good vibes, good interactions. It was straight. And then all of a sudden, for whatever reason, you got in your feelings. she sidetracked. And I honestly, I it, it's not making sense to me, to um, be honest. I, I it it's ain't making me. sense to me, and the only sense that it's, it's making is I should have believed what the fuck I saw on the internet. <laughs> no, 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 no. I should have known that you wasn't no different than the other hoes. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm done watching this shit. I should have known you wasn't no different than the rest of these bitches. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's you know... The thing is, everybody thinks shit peaches and cream until you got to work. Everybody thinks shit peaches and cream until somebody get the Russians. Everybody thinks shit peaches and cream. People need to separate work from friendships. That's how I feel. You know, I I don't need to befriend anybody that I work with, but honestly, it happens when you when you when you start working with a person, y'all create a a a relationship, and that's the issue. We don't even I don't even want to call it friendship. It's a relationship. That's what you that's what you end up making with one another. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we did. But like I said, when shit get rough, everybody want to run. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When I when 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 I'm pressed for time. Yo, I never forget, and I be quoting celebrities and shit. Y'all think this shit is cap? You need to, nigga. Cardi B said the world on my shoulder, feeling like boulders when you gotta make sure that everybody's straight. So if I'm the one responsible for making sure you get whatever you need, you don't think I'ma be a bit assertive? Okay, if you at a job working and your manager is pressed for time, for some reason when y'all at these jobs, uh. Whatever Peter say, go. Yes, sir, boss. It's giving I want to hop on the hate neek wagon. Yes, sir, boss. What, whatever you say, master. When y'all listening to Peter and Paul at them jobs, and no disrespect to anybody working a job, get the point, get out of your feelings. When you had a job, you can listen to Paul. Hey, 
Get your ass over here. Get off your phone. <laughs> what? I would what? Bill, who are you talking to? Get off your phone. You don't pay this fucking bill. The intention was clearly to be put on. Now that daddy fed you, cuzzo on her stray cat time. Welp off to the dog pound she goes. Deuces. Later. Later. <laughs> you know, with black businesses, I want y'all to understand that ain't nobody trying to be your boss. <laughs> and I that's how that happens for some reason with each other, you know. Even with a black manager, you taking your job too serious. But once again, if it was Peter, yes, sir, boss. How does that work? When I'm around these bigger YouTubers who got thousands of dollars, y'all think I can meet them and tell them what to do? Because that's not how that works. Clearly, they knew to do something else better than me to make that money. So I have to be a student in that moment. People don't know how to be students. You get what I'm saying? Everybody want to just get put on and be the teacher. Learn a little bit of something and think that they're going to just take off. That's not how that works. I've been a student for five years of YouTube. But you'll be a student for the rest of your life. <laughs> Y'all better get on. Y'all better get y'all better catch on to what the hell is going on for real. You know what I'm saying? And that's just it. It's all good though. I told y'all I'm gonna make my coin and uh, apparently two want us to talk, so whatever. I don't know what's gonna happen, but this shit right here ain't gonna fly. It ain't. But I'm done with this video. I love y'all, appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.